think there was a lot of expectation coming in, even as a freshman, people knew about Allie. I think we expected that she'd be competitive, but maybe not quite as dominant as she was. She's the best that there's ever been in the state of Alaska. That 30-year record was a big deal. In the state of Alaska, we just don't get these type of quality athletes. They come along, you know, once in a blue moon. So, what are you doing? Oh, you know, filling the pop machines. You get paid for it. And I was like, well, obviously I want to get paid to go to school. Yeah, I was always pretty small. I'll forget about it until like, I see pictures of me with other people because I feel like I don't act small. Arcadia was definitely a last minute decision. I didn't know that the race even existed until the weekend before. There's some big names in this race. It's like the who's who of the 3200, and Allie's like, okay, let's do it. Allie Ostrander of Alaska coming up strong for a second. I was super, <laughs> super impressed. You gotta admit, 1003 was faster than what I thought she could do at that time. I think that kind of opened my eyes that I should try to go to bigger races and see how I can stack up against higher competition. Allie Ostrander, number one ranked runner in the country. She's going to be battling her first race since October 4th when she ran Alaska State Meet. Nice job, Allie Ostrander. Looking good, kid. Now, it's really exciting. I've never gone to a really huge cross-country meet out of state. She's never fulfilled her potential. I think you're just starting to see it. What drives me is just my desire to make the most of my gift.